Welcome everyone. In this project we're going to make a graphical user interface for our coin flip game. You can either use the coin from the non-GUI version of this um, project or I'm going to go ahead and make a simple coin class right now. So we'll say public class coin. And then we're going to need uh, section for our instance fields, for our constructor, one space for our assessors and mutators, and our two string. Okay, so we want, if we look at a coin, we want to create a um, field for the face because our face can either be heads or tails. In this project, I have gone on the internet and gotten an old Roman coin, um, and I've gotten a heads version and a tails version, and I've made sure the background is white because I'm going to make my game background white. So you should go do that before continuing on. But you can see that there is a head or a tail side of the coin that I have chosen. And so we need a variable to keep track of that. So I'm going to say private string face. And I'm going to go ahead and set a blank for right now. I'll need a basic default constructor to create the coin. So I'll say public coin. And the constructor is not going to have any parameters involved in it. And then for my assessors and mutators, uh, we only have one field, so we'll just do one assessor and one mutator. And we'll say public string get face. And we'll return the face value. And then we'll say public void set face. And then we'll use, let's say, string f. I like to take the first initial of the field name and use it as my local variable in my setter. And then we'll say face is equal to f. And then we're also going to need a method to flip the coin. And we will just use. Um, random method in the math class to do this. So we'll say public void flip and then we're going to say int result is equal to int math dot random and we always multiply it by the number of choices we have and so we have two sides and this means that we will get back a 0 or a 1 math dot random gives us a number between 0, 0.0 and 0 0.999 and therefore we multiply it by the number of different chances we have in two faces and we want an integer when we're done so we'll cast it as an integer and then we'll say if result is equal to zero then we'll say face is equal to heads and else oh, I'm missing a curly brace here face is equal to tails. Okay, that's our flip method. And then we need a two string so that we can print out the result of um, our flip. So we'll say public 
string to string and we'll just return our get face method get face um, will access the private field up at the top all right so I'm going to compile to make sure everything is good and I'll just create a folder point flip GUI and we'll save the coin class and it doesn't look like I have any typos so we will um, stop here and go on to making the graphical frame in our next video. See you next time.